This is a preview of one of our hair color master classes. This video is a continuation of our direct dye hair color series. This is session three of a five part series. And this is our model at the first appointment. We lifted her to a level nine and we applied pastel direct dye hair colors. And this is the fade out at four weeks later. We both love this faded hair color. It looks like a fairy princess hair color. The only reason we're making any adjustments to this direct dye is because of her nape. Remember in video one, we talked about how that virgin nape area was going to be a challenge. And here it is. Because we keep the nape short and temporary uh, semi-permanent colors, they sit on the cuticle layer. So when we go in and trim her nape area down to one fourth of an inch, then we cut off the uh, lavender direct dye and what we're left with is just the silver. So we went in with a root touch-up and we used one of the uh, hair colors from the original three that we selected. We used the peacock blue to give her a traditional root touch-up. Now our hair grows a average of a half an inch of a month. So we know that with her level one natural hair color, in order to maintain consistency, we're going to have to bring her pastel hair color level down. Now you're looking at here an example at eight weeks out direct dye hair color fade. Direct dyes sit on top of the cuticle layer and they fade with each shampoo. So we anticipated all of this and we went in with our final direct dye hair color and we applied the peacock blue hair color from roots to ends and it turned out beautifully. What do you think? Now this is her direct dye hair color at 12 weeks out. And this is the same direct dye hair color at 15 weeks out. This is the same direct dye hair color at 17 weeks from the first original direct dye hair color. You could see a few remnants of the peacock blue. You could see a few strands of the silver and she has a good full inch of new growth. And the direct dye has faded to a beautiful uh, sea green color. It went from this beautiful direct dye peacock blue to this teal blue. That's what I'll call it. This is a sea green teal blue. Now this is what I call a teachable moment because although her hair uh, appears to be this teal green blue with uh, tinges of peacock blue at the roots, what's really going on is quite different. We plugged in our digital microscope that magnifies the hair at 1000 times. And what it revealed is that the hair strands still looked really, really peacock blue. And you can see the silver was still entwined with the peacock blue. But to the naked eye, her hair visibly appears to be teal. We wanted to show you her hair up close before we uh, remove the artificial pigments from the cuticle layer. This is her hair just before we remove these direct dyes from her hair. It's been a week since she shampooed and you can see that her hair is dirty and she shampoos her hair every seven days faithfully. So you can imagine what folk hair look like when they haven't shampooed for two weeks or three weeks or four weeks. Oh, look at her ends. I wanted to show you how healthy those ends look because when we're done with this uh, direct dye color remover, we're gonna redo this magnification so we can see the health of her hair. As I begin to apply the color remover, you can see the hair visibly changing colors. Now we have lavender, we have silver, and we have peacock blue 
direct dyes on her hair. She is bleached underneath all of that to a level nine. In the olden days, folks would use soap caps. That's a little bit of bleach and a little bit of shampoo to eliminate any coatings on the hair shaft and especially any leftover color and perhaps lift it a level or two. But, um, Today, in the 21st century, they have modern products that can go in and identify the artificial dye molecules that are sitting on the cuticle layer, and they can just eliminate those without any damage to the mid-shaft and ends. Because these direct dye molecules are large and temporary and easy to remove, I've only had to mix this product with water. However, if you had a tenant, a client's hair to a level one, that blue black y'all love to use, uh, you might be able to lift that to at least a level seven uh, with 20 volume. Now, I don't like to use 20 volume or any volume when I go in to remove color. So that's why you have to be an intelligent colorist when you color the hair in the first place. You want to make sure that you use semi, semi and demi permanent color that way you don't have to worry about damaging the hair shaft when you're trying to remove the color or change to a new color. It really is like magic. The fact that we can sit here and watch the uh, pigments be removed from the hair in layers just like they were applied. You saw the last tinges of the peacock blue go away. Then we're seeing before our eyes the uh, teal blue green go away and that's fading into the lavender and silver and before it's over even that's going to be gone. If you look real close at the roots you can see the roots are starting to the blonde underneath is starting to be revealed and around the edges every time um every time you apply the product the hair instantly starts to eliminate the artificial dye molecules you can see here around the perimeter that's lifting first what we have left here is the uh, different levels of the lavender, which was applied directly to that um, upper back and lower nape area and around the front hairline. If it wasn't for those few strands of teal, we wouldn't even know that the hair was blue, green or teal. It appears now as though the hair was only lavender. This is magic, hair magic, happening right before our eyes. This is a new product, new in that, uh, I'll say, the last five years. So anybody that's not up on their game, they don't even know about these new color removers out there. They are, they are our best friend. Like I said, I mix this with water. Now, it was deionized water. You can't mix it with tap water because it's all kind of stuff in tap water. You know, the uh, municipalities, they have to put a lot of things in the tap water to make it safe for us. And we know that a lot of places in America, the water is not safe for us. So I order deionized water to mix with any, uh, any products that require water. What? what? Yes, water. All of this is happening. See, there are no more direct dyes. At least 99.9% .9 of the direct dyes are gone. And this has only been 20 minutes. As you saw, I went in and I applied the remover, the pigment remover in one half inch sections. And I went through thoroughly and I cross checked and I looked and I watched and I saw how the color remover was developing. And then I added more product and then went to the next sec section. After I could see visibly that all the hair had been saturated with the pigment remover, then I just allowed the hair to sit. No plastic bags, no heat, no nothing. Just allow the uh, pigment remover to do its thing. Make sure the hair was not compacted. You don't want the hair condensed. You want oxygen to be able to get in there to help assist the product. But other than that, like magic, the artificial dye molecules 
just disappear. It's a concentrated detergent, a super, super sulfate that makes all of this happen. I told you to stay away from those sulfates. This was when she walked in the salon at 17 weeks from her first direct dye hair color. Now, the health of her hair is amazing. The color is ooky, but not anymore. Because the artificial dye molecules have been removed and the blonde that was underneath all of that has been revealed. You can see there's a little tinge of blue-green around the hairline. The rest of the hair had already, uh, the pigments had been eliminated and I didn't want to risk the rest of the hair for a few hairs around the hairline because I knew we were going in with the bleach and the bleach was going to take care of all of those little remnants. You can see the health of her hair. This is just before we uh, rinsed it out. Just before we rinsed it out. We let the product sit a full 30 minutes and this is the results. She was always a level nine under all of those direct dyes, the lilac, the silver, the peacock blue. And this is her hair, shampooed, rebonded, and we haven't put any conditioners or, or leave-ins in her hair yet. I wanted you to see the health and the structure of her hair before I even put a comb in it. The hair on the left side of the screen is before we use the uh, pigment remover. And the hair on the right side of the screen is her hair after we use the pigment remover. And you can see that the health of the hair is equal, if not improved. The hair on the right actually looks as though it's a little, little fuller in the hair shaft. Wow. It was like magic. So this is her hair magnified a thousand times. The screen on the left is the hair before we use the color remover. And the uh, hair on the right side of the screen is her hair after we rinsed and uh, rebonded, used a little nourishing serum and air dried her. Okay, we dried her under the ionic hood dryer uh, under cool. Look how healthy her hair is. And there is not one trace of blue, silver, lavender, teal, sea blue, green, nothing. And this is her final results. This is her hair after we've taken off the artificial dye molecules. Now I'm going in now and I'm applying bond protectors. Why am I spraying the bond protectors on? Because now we need to go in and do a root touch up. Her hair has grown so much since we first put the uh, direct dye hair color on her hair. That was like 18, 17, 18 weeks ago. And so now we're going to go in and we're going to give her a root touch up and we're going to do something really special with her hair. You're going to want to uh, what do they call it? You're going to want to uh, not register, subscribe. Yes, you're going to want to subscribe. You're going to want to ring the bell so you can get notified when the next video drops because it's going to be amazing. We, we're leaving all of these direct dye, fun, crazy colors. We're leaving them in the month of June. Okay, and we're getting ready to go to some beautiful blondes, maybe even add some hair. I don't know. Let us know. Come visit us at beautywellnesshaircare.com. Yeah, let me know in the comments below. Let me know if you would like us to add some hair. We can do an extension. We can do it all kind of ways. Let us know in the comments.